In this video, what we're going to do is introduce how to use two different visual models to find the sums of integers. And the visual models we're going to use are a number line and integer counters. So to start with, what we are going to do is we are going to find the sum of negative 5 and negative 3. And we'll use the number line technique first. So as you can see below here, I have a number line with 0 in the middle and uh, going to negative 10 on one side and positive 10 on the other. And like most number lines, we actually write the positive values going to the right and we write the negative values going to the left. So let's, uh, let's take a look at how to represent this uh, particular sum on a number line. The first thing we need to do is have a arrow that represents the length of each of our integers. So here is an arrow that starts at 0 and goes five units in the negative direction. So this arrow represents the value of negative five. So here's the zero and it goes one, two, three, four, five units to the left in, or in the negative direction. And then what we'll also do is we'll put in an arrow that represents negative three. And likewise, this one starts at zero and goes one, two, three units to the left or in the negative direction. Now, when we add using a number line, what we're really doing is we're adding the one arrow to the second arrow. And the key to this is recognizing that where one arrow ends, or the head of one arrow, is where the beginning of the other arrow goes. So we put the beginning of one arrow at the end of the other. And so let's actually do that in this case. So I'm gonna move my negative three arrow to start where the negative five arrow ends. And so I'm going to put the tail of the second arrow to the head of the first arrow. And then to find the sum of this, all we need to do is look where the end of the second arrow, or where the head, right, the, the arrow tip of the second arrow actually is on the number line. And here we can see that the second arrow is right above negative eight. So from this, we can conclude that the sum of negative five plus negative three is negative eight. Now to confirm this, what we'll actually do is we'll use a different technique called integer counters to, to do the same thing. And in this case, what we're going to do is we're just going to use uh, positive and negative symbols as our integer counters. And I've made some fancier ones, but you don't need to do that. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put out um, some integer tiles or integer counters that represent negative 5. So negative 5 would be 5 negative values, or 5 times negative 1. So let's bring those out right now. So now that we have our negative 5 in place, what we're going to do now is we are going to add to this negative 3 negative tiles. And so if you think about what addition means, it means we're actually going to bring on, right, we're, going to, we're going to actually move on to the, the screen, 3 additional negative tiles. So let's do that right now. So we're bringing in three negative tiles. Right? There's our negative three. And now, because we are finding the sum, all we have to do is add together or count up the total number of negative tiles here. So in this case, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is another way of representing negative five plus negative three equals negative eight. In our second example, we're going to use the same two strategies, but this time we're going to add together positive 8 plus negative 3. So we'll use the number line technique first once again, and we'll start with an arrow that represents positive 8. And so just like the previous one, you can sort of see that what we have is we have uh, an arrow that starts at 0, and it moves 8 units to the right, or 8 units into the positive direction. And we'll bring on an arrow that represents negative 3. So once again, arrow that starts at zero and goes three units to the left, or three units in the negative direction. Now once again, remember the whole idea of when we add using a number line is that where the first arrow ends, or where the, the tip, the arrowhead of that first arrow is, is where the second arrow begins. So we'll move this into that location. And so just like we saw when we did the uh, acrobat, we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight units forward, and then we kind of basically turn around and go one, two, three units backwards. And the, the sum of that is where the tip of the second arrow ends, and that is right above the value of five. So we know from this that eight plus negative three is equal to five. 
Now we'll do the same thing with integer counters and we'll start using the same technique. We'll start by bringing in eight uh, integer tiles that represent eight. So in this case it would be eight positive tiles. So now we have our eight positives and now what we're going to do because we are adding we are going to bring into the picture uh, three negative tiles or tiles that represent negative three. So we're going to bring that into the picture. So now that we have our negative three tiles in, the, the difference here is now what we need to do is we actually, uh, you know, we can't just count them up because we have, the tiles aren't all the same. So what we need to do here is we need to recognize that uh, a one positive tile and one negative tile actually cancel each other out. One positive and one negative tile cancel each other out. And we actually can call, we actually have a name for these. We call these zero pairs. And the reason why we call them that is that it is a pair of tiles or a pair of integer counters that when put together equals zero. Right? Positive one and negative one are opposites. They cancel each other out. You take one step forward and then one step backwards, you're back where you started. So these are zero pairs. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to highlight all of my zero pairs. I've got one, here's a second, and here is a third. The tiles that are remaining are the sum of this pile of integer counters. So in this case, I have one, two, three, four, five positive tiles remaining. And yes, in fact, that is what we said we had earlier from our number line, a value of positive five. So just to recap, two different methods, you will be uh, expected to be able to use both of them, uh, one using a number line and then the second method using integer counters. And these are two different ways that we can find the sum of different integers.